What is networking? Networking in the context of computing and IT refers to the practice of linking multiple devices together to facilitate the sharing of resources, information and seamless communication between them. It's a foundation aspect of IT infrastructure, enabling systems to communicate efficiently, whether in a home environment, office or across the globe via the Internet. How networking works? At its core, networking involves connecting devices, such as computers, servers, printers and even IoT or Internet of Things devices, so they can exchange data. This data transfer is governed by a set of rules or protocols, which ensures that the communication is clear, structured and reliable. Now let's talk about two types of networking. There is a wired networking and there is also a wireless networking. Wired networking uses physical cables like Ethernet cables to establish connections between devices. These wired connections typically offer faster and more reliable data transmission compared to wireless networks. And wired networking is common in environments where performance, stability and security are critical, such as data centers and offices. And wireless networking uses radio waves to transmit data, eliminating the need for physical cables. Wi-Fi is the most common wireless networking technology, allowing devices to connect to a local network or the internet. And wireless networks offer flexibility and ease of setup, making them ideal for mobile devices, smart home environments and public spaces. In both Wired and wireless setups networking relies on routers, switches and access points to manage and direct the flow of data. We will discuss all these devices and how they work in later tutorials. But now let's talk about networking components. First networking component is transmission mediums. The physical or wireless means through which data is transferred and transmission medium is the physical or wireless means through which data is transmitted between devices. For wired networks these mediums include fiber optic cables for high speed long distance communication and twisted pair copper cables such as cat 5e or cat c ethernet cables which we will also discuss in future episodes for wireless networks data is transmitted via electromagnetic waves with Wi-Fi being the most common form. Routers. A router directs data between devices on different networks, such as between a local network and the Internet. It assigns IP addresses to device on the network, ensuring the data is sent to the correct destination. Switches. Switches are responsible for managing data traffic between devices on the same local network. They inspect data packets and direct them only to the intended device, reducing network congestion and improving efficiency. Access points. Wireless access points or WAPs allow wireless devices to connect to wired network. They are often connected to a router and provide Wi-Fi signals in an area enabling wireless communication. All these networking devices we will also be discussing in greater detail in future videos. Now let's talk about networking models. Networking follows certain centralized models which define how devices communicate and interact across a network. The most widely known is the OSI or Open Systems Interconnection model, which divides network into a seven layers. Physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and 7C's application layer, which we will also discuss in greater detail in future videos. Key networking protocols. Networking relies on protocols that define how devices communicate. Important protocols include TCP IP, Transmission Control Protocol, or Internet Protocol, the foundation of Internet networking responsible for establishing connections and routing data between devices on different networks, and HTTP or HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol or Hypertext Transfer Secure Protocol, the protocol used for accessing websites and web-based services, and FTP, File Transfer Protocol, used for transferring files between systems over a network and DNS or domain name system translates human readable domain names like www.example.com into IP addresses that computers can understand. Benefits of networking 
Resource sharing networking allows for sharing of hardware like printers and software resources such as shared drives and applications across multiple devices. Data accessibility. With the networking users can access files, databases and applications from any connected device enabling collaborative work environments and remote access. Internet connectivity. Networking enables local devices to connect to the internet providing access to a vast array of services like email, cloud storage and web applications. Centralized management. IT administrators can manage and monitor all networked devices from a central location, making it easier to apply secure policies, updates and troubleshooting issues. Networking in modern IT infrastructure. In today's IT environments, networking extends far beyond simple local connections. Complex enterprise networks connect entire organizations, while cloud networking has emerged allowing companies to extend their local networks to cloud service providers, where resources and services can be accessed over the internet. Virtual private networks or VPNs are also a critical aspect of modern networking enabling secure connections over public networks, which is particularly useful for remote workers accessing sensitive company data. In summary, networking is the essential practice of connecting computing devices to share data and resources efficiently. It underpins the entire digital world, supporting everything from internet browsing and cloud services to remote work and large-scale enterprise communications. Whether via wired or wireless connections, networking technologies enable seamless communication and drive the modern IT infrastructure.